the trends in the global aid architecture are moving in the wrong direction. A lot has changed in the world. Uh, a lot of crises have come together, one on top of the other, from climate to COVID to conflict. I would hope that there will be a sufficient degree of solidarity among all the countries of the world. The challenges that we're facing are immense and no one organization can do it alone. We always have to strive for results, for impact. And in order to do that, we need to, to do the right thing and we need to do it together. We want to be have a stake in the game and also contribute, not only financially, but also in the dialogue. It's very important for the World Bank and other multilateral institutions to work together with other partners such as civil society, academia, with um, our bilateral partners, philanthropies, etc., as well as the private sector. And this is where partnership uh, play a role. And specifically, uh, when you talk about partnership, trust funds uh, are very central here. Trust funds and financial intermediary funds are the embodiment of partnerships. We strongly believe in the value of partnership, partnerships both at the high level, headquarters type level, but also at the country level. Partnerships are really inherent in everything the bank does. Now it's emerged even more so as a key area of focus as part of the evolution roadmap. We partner to increase our impact. Uh, so that we go further than our aggr the aggregate of our individual uh, contribution. And together we are always stronger, we say, and I strongly believe in that also in our relationship we are having with the World Bank. Many donors coming together in trust funds uh, also increases efficiency. I think increasing partnerships within the trust fund and FIF space would allow more efficient and more timely delivery at places where we need it to be. It is trust funds that are carrying the onus of the development community being engaged in those humanitarian emergency settings and settings where we need desperately to have financing on the ground. We have embarked on this big transformation, trust fund reform, and we are concentrating all these efforts around a limited number of very strategic partnership that we call our Umbrella 2.0 programs. But we are dynamic, right? So it's not set in stone. What we have want to have is a process that ensures that we only do what is really going to uh, have impact. Uh, you know, and, and, and that's, that's what we have put in place in, with Trust and Reform as well. All of that to say that uh, this is a fantastic investment in, in how we deliver as a multilateral development bank. We really enjoy working with each other, learning each other's language and finding solutions that help you know, create um, new ways of delivering our support uh, that were not initially conceived in our individual institutions.